This is the image of TCS employees that I've shared in the past. If you look at the media channel today, it seems that the HCL employees are all smiling and I'll talk about HCL results in the nugget section today. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 14th October. Before we start, one quick reminder that the FII cell number is swelling and the last time FII sold so much was in the pandemic time, March 2020. And that was the month end number. We are barely in the middle of the month right now. It seems that FIs are right now in the mood of making a century. The week seemed to have started on a good note. DLF was up most, shrugging the bearishness in the real estate sector from last week. Today for a change, IOC was up as well. HL which was awarded the Maharatna status, that was up as well. Frankly, it means nothing to HL. It does not improve their execution capabilities at all in my opinion. Today's bottom performers, Colgate Palmolive and DMART. This is the next 50 pack. DMART's results were shrugged aside probably also because management acknowledged. Online is eating a bit of their share of sales as well as profit. Look at the graph of DMART continuously down as soon as the anticipation of this quarter's result started. Now it is looking a bit oversold technically but right now sentiment is ruling there may be some more fall the real firm support probably is not there till about 3700 levels oil stocks have decided that they will behave in the weirdest possible way crude is around 78 79 but ongc down 2.1 percent now when crude corrects it goes to 72 then also ongc will correct today it stocks were doing well wipro was up tech mahindra was up so was infosys hcl technologies and what was not TCS, Reliance ahead of its results, not declared yet, 0%. Rockstar sector today, banking services followed by software, real estate led by DLF today and insurance. What was down, DMART led food and drug retailing. Overall, the trend was clearly in favor of the bulls. What's trending in last two weeks, investment banking, heavy machinery. What is dragging most, DMART, the chemical pack because of the increase in crude price suddenly. Note that this graph is really important if you are a trader because it is most profitable to invest in the trending sectors. If you note, these sectors only have made money in the last 10-15 days. These sectors have lost money for the investors. If you are invested in these sectors, for example, you are probably not making money right now. If you put money on anything right now in the investment pack, for two days, three days, you will probably make 2-3% right now if the markets continue with the same trend. Look at the gains of investment banking today. PSC rocked again 7% up heavy volumes. CDSL 5x volumes 7% gains. Banks today had a good time. HDFC bank up most 2.2%. Kotak Mahindra Bank which was hated most for eroding the wealth of retail in the last two quarters. That is the only stock in the green zone right now. The patient investors finally make some money. Today IT was also rocking but TCS was down, InfoEdge was down, the sector was up 1%, volumes were good especially for Wipro, HCL was up but on low volumes and we'll talk about HCL in the nugget section today. The dashboards I show on a daily basis, they are slowly moving to the web interface, baby steps towards making this portal available to a wider audience. Nifty had a good day up continuously. Trading range for Nifty was 132 points or half percent. Just went up and consolidated. Bank Nifty literally same. That is because banks were up most today. 0.8% trading range for Reliance. Didn't go anywhere for the day literally. TCS was down. HDFC had a fantastic day. ICICI Bank as well. Just like HDFC spent most time above the line. HCL Tech was also up but it started slow and picked up steam towards the end of the day. Closed the day at an all-time high. This is perhaps select people knowing the results ahead of the release to the stock exchanges. Ryan's is the farthest away in this pack from the 52-week high. Kotak Mahindra is the only bank close to the 52-week high. The noticeable performances today were HDFC Bank, ICICI, Kotak Mahindra, Indusind, on Friday, I talked about PFC, REC going through the roof anytime. PFC did show the intent today, but then it came down. I am looking at PFC above 500 this week. IT pack, there are only two stocks which are not strong right now, TCS and LNT Technologies. Only TCS is having a red trend that since the result day. 
defense there was only buying interest in hal i mentioned last week that this pack will lose interest this week three metal stocks did well hindustan zinc hindustan copper and nmdc in fact it may be time for profit booking for many retail investors who have taken trades in anticipation of making some money because of the china stimulus i think i'll try making a bit of money in radico with this trend it is happening every day exactly around 245 otherwise nothing in the edible pack itc was up a bit 1.8% today i have added dabar and adani wilmer also non edible pack i have added imami and 3m and dmart colgate has got downgrade that was down as well trent made another high and then cool down the sector which is rocking most right now perhaps the investment banking sector good sized volumes two stocks which have fallen a lot recently and are now going up motilal oswal and angel one which has settled all the disputes today kfin tech picked up up 4% see this kfin tech graph cams went up again note that bsc's p is now 110 the p of mcx is 191 mcx made new high bsc made new high cdsl up 7% on the contrary a sector which is not making any money for any investor right now oil and gas whether crude goes up or goes down this sector continues to sulk ongc continuously down oil india is supposed to at least have same patterns but that was up now right now crude is up but ioc was up so was bpcl and hpcl i have said earlier also hpcl when it goes up it goes up more than bpcl and iocl while going down mrpl goes down with the oil marketing companies but when oil marketing companies go up mrpl does not go up all sorts of crazy lack of patterns or wrong patterns outcome of all the fantastic action for the day nifty up 0.7% nifty bank and nifty it up 1.3% each minor gains in nifty energy nifty next 50 and auto as well and i just refreshed the fi number minus 62000 bitcoin did well over the weekend also it is back to 65000 levels rupee is hovering above 84 now Brent seventy eight, but all bad news for crude. OPEC has cut the demand growth for the next year and the remaining two zero two four. The price have gone down on the OPEC demand downgrade. The weak China data. Gold is appearing red, but it is firmly above seventy six thousand right now. Silver above ninety thousand. If you want to buy silver right now, a coin or something, one kg will easily cost somewhere between ninety six thousand to one lakh. in the retail market hyundai's ipo opens tomorrow we will talk about it in the nugget section the bad news retail inflation rose 9 month high 5.5% now something that was not covered on indian sides vegetable prices rose 36% year on year in september against 10.7% increase year on year in august this is the inflation of retail in the average numbers this 36% will get drowned best performers today hdfc bank wipro itc lnt infosys what was pulling the indices down adani enterprises tcs bajaj finance maruti ongc nifty next 50 also had adani pack in the bottom adani green adani power jindal steel and power bajaj holdings and avenue supermarts maruti and tata motors down everything else up in auto alcohol stocks did well in beverages coal india up lnt was up 2% as a result the sector construction engineering was up ultra tech was down but the other cement players were up adani enterprises down trent down hotels corrected insurance today was looking strong only icici prudential was down a bit but the sector was up 1% ordinary day for heavy machinery today there is nothing like a pandemic around but pharma is having the time of its life nearly all stocks in the green zone macro tech has fallen a lot it is 36% away from the 52 week high today the entire sector was doing well kalyan jewelers came back strongly today 4.2% titan page industries both up half percent each bharti airtel indus tower both were up indus tower is actually now a proxy of bharti only my day i tried intraday trades in jm financial novama wealth rec a little loss but i was experimenting with few things which didn't work out i bought some stocks mostly in the investment banks bsc motilal oswal angel one i bought back certain credit this one i had sold at 208 levels today i bought at 190 levels 50% of the quantity i also bought hcl tech ahead of the result tmart also that's because it has fallen a lot and what i found was all the channels which are flagging dmart red they were owned by the parent company of reliance megamart 
Before we move to HL Technologies, a quick look at Hyundai IPO. Investors who want to hold the stock for long term and traders who just want to make some money on the listing day, maybe in the next two three days. Now Hyundai's main competitor, I would say, is Maruti. Maruti is at a 27 PE. Tata Motors is at 8 PE. Approximately, they have priced the IPO in Maruti's price band, which is okay. But the standard problem of inventory, the entire industry is struggling with. That I think will apply to Hyundai also. One more thing is, this is an offer for sale. They are not creating new equity, which means Hyundai Korea is diluting their equity. They are monetizing their entire investment in India over the last two and a half three decades. So, for an investor, you are buying a competition of Maruti at nearly the same valuation of Maruti. If you feel they are both comparable cars in terms of growth story and all, then it is a yes. But if you feel Maruti Suzuki is the leader for last three decades for some reason, then I would say it is a no. It should be cheaper than Maruti. See, Mahindra and Mahindra also 32 PE. That is because Mahindra mostly sells SUVs, not compact sedans or passenger vehicles. Those are high margin vehicles. The remaining companies are mostly two wheeler companies. Would I invest? No. I am not investing in the auto sector at all. This IPO is expensive. There is no money for the retail investor, even if they get allotment. Now the mindset of a trader is lot different. The size of IPO is big. Lot of retail participation is anticipated. This entire pie, which is retail, out of this 60, 70, 80 percent probably, at least 50 percent, will try to sell on day one. Will this lead to price increase or decrease? I think the prices will go down. It may open with a premium. I would not want to buy this even as a trader. I did apply for Bajaj Housing. I got a little bit of allotment also, and I sold it on day one. I usually apply at pre-IPO as an investor if I'm interested in any company. For me, as an investor as well as trader, the answer is no, which means you are better off buying from the market directly after the listing if you are interested in holding this stock. It is not a bad company, but it is a too big issue. At a expensive valuation, mostly promoter diluting the stake. All right, back to HCL Tech results. This is TCS which I published last week. These numbers are in thousand crores. The sale number for HCL twenty eight point nine thousand crore compared to twenty eight point one previous quarter. Last year comparison twenty six point seven thousand crores. This number is eight point two percent up. For TCS, the sales number year on year were up 7.5 percent. Employee cost 16.5 thousand crore. This was 15.3 thousand crore. Why on why? This is a jump of 7.8 percent. TCS had a jump of 7.6 percent. Other expenses 1.8, 1.6. This is a jump of 12.5 percent. TCS saw reduction of 12.6 percent. Profit 3.8 thousand crore to 4.2 thousand crore. A jump of 10.5 percent. TCS saw jump of 7.2 percent only. So the profit number is lot better in terms of percentage growth year on year. As an investor, I would not say that these numbers are very different. Yes, this 10.5 will stand out analytically compared to 7.2 percent. But note, this number is 12,000 crore. This number is 4,000 crore. 3x EPS 15.6. I think out of this 12 rupee has been announced as a dividend. For TCS, the EPS was thirty two point nine, out of which ten rupee has been announced as dividend. Standalone comparison numbers for this quarter between TCS and HCL: profit eighteen point five percent for TCS, fourteen point five percent for HCL. Employee cost for TCS was fifty seven percent, fifty seven point one percent for HCL, not very different. Other expenses for TCS were twelve percent, for HCL six point two percent. But there was one extraordinary item in other expenses for TCS that I had mentioned. Would I sell TCS if I'm holding that and buy HCL? I don't see too much of a need. TCS was buried into the ground by the analyst and news channels. Both results are comparable, not very different. What that means is I might exit the HCL holdings that I bought today tomorrow if there is some gain. I don't mind holding HCL as a company, but I would probably buy it maybe in a downturn or when the markets are crashing. It is a resilient company, so is Wipro, and I covered that in my previous video in the last quarter's results where I contrasted all five companies in IT. Now this was IT when TCS declared the results. The results came after market hours. This is IT when HCL declared the results. Again, the results came after market hours. Hope this was interesting. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.